Hello everyone, I'm so excited today we get to look at a brand new product that I haven't heard anyone else talking about. And what is absolutely cool about this product is that it's a new version of one of my all-time favorite products. Something that I color with all the time and tell all of you that you need to purchase. They have made a new version of this product. I'm so excited. I've got Steve here with me because he also likes these pens that I love to color with. They are the Pentel Sparkle Pop pens. These guys are amazing. Whenever I tell people how to collect gel pens, this is on the list of the must-haves because they are that good. <laughs> this little package right here is um, on sale right now for... $14 for eight pens, so that's a little less than about a buck seventy-five a pen is what I would say. So that's really cool. That's US dollars here um, in September 2023. Now Pentel has made only a few of these types of gel pens. They have eight in the Sparkle Pop lines, four in another line called the Crazy Pop lines, and then they have two other lines of gel pens in the Pop range. They have the Solar Pop, which is a neon line, and Milky Pop, which is a more pastel, um, sort of like the Moonlight Jelly Roll type pens. Now, my recommendation is to collect the Sparkle Pop and the Crazy Pop. The Solar Pop and the Milky Pop are not my favorites. So if you're going to collect these Pentel lines, that's where I would send you first. Sparkle Pop and Crazy Pop. And now there's a third version that is going to, I hope, blow our minds. Now I've only <laughs> tried one of the pens in this pack because I couldn't wait. I had to try it and it was so cool. So this is Pentel dual metallic brush pens and at first I was like oh it's another brush pen and I didn't really look that close but then I looked closer because I was like wait a second it's Pentel and that's one of my favorite gel pens and the lo closer I looked the more I realized I think that these are a brush pen version of these beauties <laughs> if that doesn't deserve a choir of our angels, I don't know what will because one of the hardest things of coloring with gel pens is coloring large areas because this is a teeny tiny little tip and I have taught many tricks and tips on how to paint with gel pens, but now we just skip straight to this <laughs> pen and we can start painting. I'm so excited. They look different on black versus white. They have a dual metallic type ink going on. I, I'm just really excited. And like I said, I kind of cheated and I broke into this pack and grabbed the gold for a recent project I was working on. And let me show you how that turned out. So all of the gold on this is that new Pentel. Look at the shine. Can you see it? I'm trying to catch it in the light just right. There, that's pretty good there. It's a beautiful gold color. It's a, it's not a greeny gold. It's more of an orangey, pretty, warm yeah, it's, gold. It's really, it's very and in person, it has glitter in it plus the metallic shine. One thing that I don't like about metallic gel pens is that they almost have a flat shine. Right. It's more of a sheen, I think is the word they use for it. Where these, the Sparkle Pop pens, and now these, I hope, I haven't swatched them all yet, but have more of a glittery plus the metallic. So you get the glitter, and then you also get the shine. Let me show you this direction here and see if you can see the shine better. Oh yeah, right up in here you can see it. And I'll bring it up close so you can see the glittery effect. Oh, too close, sorry. Um, it might be having a bit of trouble uh, with it. <laughs> These types of products are almost always better in person than they are on camera, but we're going to do our very best to show you how cool these products are. And what I want to do is find out if I'm right. Are these eight gel pens now in these eight brush markers? 
<laughs> kind of excited about this, you guys. This pack right here, in case you're curious, is $20. So a little bit pricey, but it looks like there's a lot of ink in there. So it might be worth every penny because these guys are more like a buck seventy-five per pen. Yeah. So this is what, two... Uh, a little more than two dollars of marker you guys do the math so let's take a peek at these pens and see how they perform and we're going to start by letting rose fix her bed <laughs> <laughs> oh are you done okay let me get ready and we're doing we're going to do some swatching and compare side by side and see if the pentel brush pens are the same ink that's in the sparkle pop pens as I'm swatching the eight sparkle pops on both white and black, I thought I'd read to you a little bit about these pens. It says, add a unique pop of shimmering color to your writing world. New, innovative, and reflective sparkling iridescent ink is ultra glittery. Ink looks like a different color when writing on black or white paper. It's perfect for cards, drawing, doodles, and other designs. Smooth metallic gel ink and extra long balanced barrel for effortless writing and control. A latex free grip for comfortable writing and drawing and a 1.0 millimeter tip writes bold lines. Okay, we've got them swatched, the Pentel Sparkle Pop pen swatched on white and on black. And just so you know, we have swatch books that can swatch on white paper, black paper, tan paper, watercolor paper, and then color pencil paper, mixed media, and marker paper. So if you need some swatch books, come on over to Coloring Bliss and see what we have. They are amazing. Okay, I'm going to zoom back just a bit so we can see both side by side. And here we have the same pen, just colored in different onto different papers. So you can see the different effects. I'll bring the white up to camera and move it. Look at that shine. Oh my goodness, especially that silver and gold are so good. So good. Look how pretty those are. And then here are the same eight pens on black paper. So good. Those are so pretty. So pretty. I love how different the colors are. You get the violet over here and the blue over here, the blue and then the green. It's so cool. Same pen. Yeah. So cool. It's such a neat pen because it is both metallic and glitter and the dual color all in the same one. Now the gold and the silver aren't dual colors so really you're only getting six dual colors and then one of my all-time favorite golds and all-time favorite silvers because like I said it's that hybrid it's not just metallic it's not just glitter it's both put together that's mm -hmm. what makes these so good and that's why I'm so excited about this package right here if it really is the same inks I'm going to be over the moon excited and might have to go buy another set of these. <laughs> okay, so we'll start and we'll do it in the same order. Let me show you what these pens look like. They're really pretty, a really pretty pen. Um, maybe black is not the best one. Let's look at red together. Um, you have to shake it. You can hear the little ball in it. And then it has a pump action on the back, which also works when it's capped. You oh. can still pump it. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that really cool? So as you pump it, you can see the ink is already starting to flow into the bristles. I already did, I just did one pump. I'm going to shake it just a little bit more. Whenever you're working with um, pens like this, um, Posca pens are included. Any kind of paint pen like that. Put the cap on when you shake it, just in case ink gets <laughs> released from the nib. <laughs> you don't want it going everywhere. That's that's not what we're here to do. So I'm going to have Steve do some shaking off screen oh. for me. His favorite job is to shake. And so far, I'm not really impressed with the... You have to really aggressively shake it to get that ball to move. <laughs> That's okay. I, I'm only being picky here. 
I guess that's another thing that I need to mention is we're not sponsored by Pentel. I bought this with my own money. I'm just a Pentel pen fan. Okay, let's start with this one right here. This is the black and red. Um, I'm just checking the bristles to see if they have something in them, but they're they're okay. Okay, so let's look at this, do this together as I push the, and you'll see the ink oh, yeah. flow down into the bristles. Okay. Now, let's give it a try. Oh, I'm so nervous. What if they're not as great as I want them to be? <laughs> And I hope I shook it enough. Okay, there we go. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm already loving it. Okay, let's... <laughs> you can see um, the first few swipes, the red wasn't mixed in, but once you get it going, then the red comes in and look. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Let's see it on the black too. Oh, wow. It's like magic, you guys. Did you see that? Oh good, Steve zoomed it over so you could see it. Look how it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost speechless. Let's see if it's shining on the red. Yeah, we've got the glittery metallic. Oh, oh wow, yeah. it's, it's almost better than the original pen, you guys. Oh, so far it is. I don't know if most of it fades as it dries. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think so. Okay, okay. Steve has been shaking. Thank you, Steve. Welcome. Let's look at blue to green. Zoom in a bit. And we'll make sure that the bristles are loosened here. And then give it a squeeze. Let that ink flow down into the bristles. Next time I pull these out, I'll need to shake them again, but this, this process of getting the ink down to the bristles will be easier. Oh, that was a lot of ink that just moved. Okay, love again that these post on the end, and then you can still give it a little push to get the ink moving. Again, I'm wondering if the first few swipes are going to be mostly blue and then hopefully we'll get some of the green okay oh I see the green I see it okay let's do it on the black oh you guys it's the same ink is... we're gonna do a side-by-side -side down here and see them right next to each other but this is just wow. really good you guys <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, here comes the same one. Give me a second now while I get this going. Okay, here we go with green blue. Get it going. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see the blue. This is really exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love the new art products. And now it comes out as blue. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the next one, which is orange to yellow. Get it going. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, now we'll go back to pink here. Um, let me get this in the screen. We're going to be right here with pink to pink. Oh, this one. Oh, look at that pink color. Oh, it's such a good pink. So pretty. Now we'll look at it on black. I'm so excited, you guys. This is the same inks. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, now the violet to blue. Slide my white square back over and prep the little brush. Break it up a bit. Okay, violet to blue is right here in this square. Beautiful, my favorite color, purple. Let's see how it looks on black. Oh, look how pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, now the gold and the silver. Like I said, the gold and the silver Sparkle Pop pens are two of my favorite pens. So I know I've already practiced with the gold and know that I really like it. Look how, oh, it's just so good, you guys. Yeah. And gold here. So again, the gold and the silver are not a dual color pen, but they do have metallic properties and glitter. And our last one is this silver one, which I need to get going. Wow. Oh. So pretty. Okay, let's take a look at them. So they're, um, what would you call them? The big brother? These are the <laughs> big brothers and this is the new brother. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, this is so good. This is kind of a game changer as far as these pens I only ever really reach for when we're doing little details or if I need to make them more painterly you have to have glycerin and paint brushes and everything handy yeah. and ready and now here we have it all right so now we're going to look at them side by side and the first square will be the original Pentel Sparkle Pop pen now the other thing that's really exciting about this, you guys, is they have the crazy pop line. So there are, I think, four more colors that if they wanted to, they could do this for us. Oh, well, I thought you were going to say they had them. Are these the only eight colors? That I am aware of, yeah. Okay, here's the brush pen, the dual metallic brush right next to it. it they are really good. Um... I don't know what to say other than they're really good. <laughs> okay, blue to green now. All right, takes a little while to fill in that. And then watch how quickly I fill it in with the brush. And well, and it's just, I mean that, it covers so much more yeah. of the paper. Okay, so we've got black and blue. Now we'll do the greens. Okay. So when would I reach for... Oop, we got a little bit of an ink blot came out from that. When would I reach for the crazy pop over these new pens. I mean, are they just going to replace hmm. the old ones for me now? Um, if I'm taking notes, which I love to take notes with gel pens, obviously the Pentel Sparkle Pops are better for writing notes. With tiny little details. Yeah, and like tiny that. little details. Let's see what we can do here. Well, 
that's some pretty small details that you can still do. Or the big swipey swipes and <laughs> get a lot done in, in one swipe. Okay, now pink. There we go. So far, they look like exactly the same ink. Um, I, we almost need to test them like, um, does one dry faster than the other? That's such a good idea. Yeah. You mean to do this, a just brush the product. Pen? Yeah, I mean, just the product in general. Here comes Violet. Oh, Especially when you have, you know, a really um, unique ink combination like this. Yeah. They've done a formula. I don't know anyone other than Pentel doing something this good with the dual and the hybrid metallic and glitter effects. If you know of another company that is doing something like this, let me know. But I... I'm not aware of anyone else where you get the dual color and yeah. the metallic and the glitter. Now the gold, I, I've always loved this gold pen because it's again a mix of the glitter and the metallic so you get a really good gold payoff. Did we ever, did we do like a favorite gold? Gel we pen. haven't done gold. We've done white. Well, I thought we, I could swear we've done gold before. I don't know if it was a full video or if it was just part of a video that we did or something. Yeah, because I have other golds that I really love. Maybe it was when we were, didn't we do a video where we were doing metallics and we were comparing all kinds of metallic products? Silver sounds gold. like me. <laughs> didn't we, isn't that when we bought like that super expensive that had real silver in it? No, that was a paint. That was yeah, a paint. What I, that's what I'm saying. Oh, is... it was part of that video. Yeah. Yeah, could be. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Comment below. Is it the same inks? The only one that's jumping out at me that looks a little different is the violet and blue. Just seems like maybe not much of the blue came out in the gel pen. Like, that's what I'm seeing, is that... The dual metallic yeah, color is better. Yeah, you see more of the dual metallic it's, in the... Which makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you're getting a, a broader stroke and better okay. coverage. Let's do this again. I'm going to repeat, and we'll just do a time lapse for you so you can enjoy looking at the beautiful colors as they come out. And then I'll kind of give you my final thoughts. I bet you could guess what my final <laughs> thoughts are. But um, let's start. Um, I'll do this up really quick and then we'll look at it together when I get it filled out. Pentel Dual Metallic Brush is a brush pen with glitter. The color of dual metallic brush changes depending on the viewing angle. It is a brush type pen that looks different when written on black and white paper and is equipped with a unique glittery ink. Since the tip is a brush type, it can be used for a wide range of purposes from wide to small things. You can enjoy the gradation by mixing the tips with each other, or you can use a pen to create a watercolor expression. There are many ways to use it, including illustration, coloring books, and writing. All right, let me move these swatches on black in the light so you can see. What do you think? Do you feel like they're the same inks? Yeah. Are they the same inks? They're so the yeah, same inks. they are. I love this product, you guys. <laughs> well, and, and go up now to the top. What I was noticing is that they, when they dry, they're more opaque because you were able to get more ink down. Uh-huh, you're right. And so that's just more vibrant color and so you get good. more of that dual tone like we talked about. Yeah. Here it is in oh, the white. Sorry, oh, let's get that. Steve will brighten it up here. He had it set so the black wouldn't blow out the image. Oh, it's just so good. 
I, I'm in love. And I, I require the crazy pops to be done in this same format. Um, ASAP Pentel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would buy them up like that. So I've always said if they would come out with more products in this line, I would buy them immediately. No questions asked. And that's what happened when I found these. And the thought was, are they really the same ones but I think they are and I love that it's a brush nib so you can color in larger areas with them but yet it's got that tiny point so you still can do little details it means you could do some fancy lettering with them I mean okay so show that one again let's <laughs> go down <laughs> what? because what you're seeing what I'm seeing is the dual tone that you see it so much better in the new product. Yeah, like look at this one here. When you turn it, you can see the green come out without it having to be. I'm trying to maybe even lay it flat like that orange. I was really seeing it. Like, yeah. I don't think I really saw the green. Well, I guess it's not green, but. They're just really good. Um, so let's see, they're $20 for this product and I think it's worth every penny. Things that might change my mind, I don't know how long the brush nip's going to last. These are made in Japan and Japan typically their nibs are of really good quality. So if anybody can make a nib that's going to last, it will be Japan. So that's that's in its favor. It seems like there's a lot of ink in there. The shaking is a bit of an issue that's going to be a pain, but it's worth it <laughs> <laughs> for the payoff. It's totally worth it. Um, I, I can't think of anything negative to say other than I want more colors. Eight <laughs> colors is not enough. I want uh, the other four that you have and then more. We'll have to come back <laughs> later and try again and see like after the the ink is dried on the nib, for instance. You know, do they have any trouble? It didn't because I used that gold oh, that's right. nib. You did it for the gold. I did that how many days ago? It says on there. Yeah, that was a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, I used this one and it flowed perfectly. Mm. I didn't even have to pump it. And that's another thing that is cool to me is if you really needed a juicy stroke, maybe you're doing some lettering, some really pretty lettering, and you really need it to be a good juicy stroke, you could really pump it and load up those bristles and get a yeah. really good stroke. I can't think of anything negative. All I can say is go out and buy them. <laughs> <laughs> now, I bought, you can buy them open stock too. Oh, really? which I forgot to mention. Oh, They're available word. open stock, so you, that means you can buy them one at a time. So if you're like me and you go through your golds like crazy, you can buy additional golds and not run out. Um, they're more expensive on Blick. I've only shopped for them on Blick and on Amazon, and they are a lot more expensive on Blick. So wait for a good sale if you're going to be buying them from Blick. Um, but Amazon has the pack, the eight pack for only $20, but the individual pens, the prices were everywhere from like $5 to $15 oh, for really? one pen. So they don't have that sorted out yet. Yeah. But they are available open stock on Blick if you just want to buy one or two. If you were going to buy just a couple, not the full set, I would get... You know, you got to have them all. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. If you want the dual colors, then get the colors and don't buy the um, the silver and gold. But if you want a really good silver and gold, then get the silver and gold. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you except save up your pennies and, and order them and let's buy lots of them so Pentel will make more. <laughs> that's that's how we vote, right? Is with our dollars. <laughs> so I, I'm thrilled. I can't wait. Now that I've got them unboxed, I can color with them and not feel guilty because I wanted to unbox them with all of you so we could have this experience together. So I think I'm going to be using them a lot. This was so much fun. Thank you, Pentel, for making a product that is really exciting. Again, this is what the package looks like with the pens in it, so you'll know what to look for. Lots of Japanese on the package, but there's English on it too, so it's a good balance. So I've really, I keep trying to think of something negative to say, and I can't think of anything. Yes! <laughs>
<laughs> so cool. Thank you so much for watching and having fun with me as I explore a new art supply. And I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye.